Hey everyone, it's Captain Forrest Falcon, and I am back from Texas and finally, finally getting a chance to get some more recording done, as long as this microphone doesn't quit on me again like it's been doing for days now. But anyway, so before I left, I let you guys know that it was my one year anniversary of Let's Play and also 150 subscribers. Hooray for that! Anyway, I asked you guys a bunch of questions to ask me, and then I was going to do a Frequently Asked Questions video thing. So, I have a bunch of questions here, right in front of me, and also I asked for your favorite moments. You guys posted a lot of those, so I'm also going to do a video on that, but that will be separate from this one, which is going to be just the questions. So, anyway, the microphone's still working. Good, that's great news. I don't want to start doing this and then find out however long later that nothing recorded. Oh, crap. I heard something. Did it quit on me? Oh, it didn't. Okay. Well, let's start off with some of these questions. Okay, so, Bloody Mao asks, A question I have to you is, how do you like your steak? Rare, medium, well done, etc. Okay, that's a interesting question. I kind of like it. So, how do I like steak? Well, let me put it this way. I prefer my meats, all of them well done. Let's see, story from my childhood. Hopefully I can put this as in grotesque a manner as I possibly can. Well, anyway, one day long, long ago, I had some hamburger that wasn't well done enough. And I spent the entire evening pretty much wreathing in pain on my stomach trying, hoping to God that it was going to go away sometime soon. And then in bed, well, let's just say there was a fountain of meat that came flying across my bed sheets and across the floor, and it was all very disgusting. Yeah, I threw up a lot that night, so much that I had nothing left. Absolutely nothing. I was just gagging out nothingness. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that completely grotesque story, and that explains why I like my food well done. I also don't like, because I damn well don't like any bacterial infections or any of that crap. I prefer to just have it nice and well done. Besides, I don't like the bloody taste as much. I prefer it just as meat as meat as meat. Okay, hopefully that answered your question, Bloody Mao. Probably more than you asked, to be honest. Anyway, next question. Do you think I'm awesome? Shadowgun29. Yes, Shadowgun, you are very awesome. Shadowgun29, one of the three original members of Luxury LPs. He hasn't been that active too lately, but I think the three of us were planning to do something special since it was one year of Luxury LPs. I think we were thinking of some kind of... Um, you know what? I won't spoil it. I won't spoil whatever we do, because we haven't actually determined it yet. But anyway, next we have a couple questions from Silver 63 One of them was probably never intended to be as a serious question. CFF, do you realize that when you go to Texas, Ed, Al, and Wise will also be there? Why so many Texans? Why are there so many Texans? Because Texans are awesome people. I loved my visit to Texas. So freaking refreshing. So nice to get a break and just... And you know, surprisingly, despite the heat, I actually kind of enjoyed it somewhat. But you don't really no notice it that much because you're just switching from being out in the high humidity heat to just going inside of cars and buildings. Where they've got the air conditioning so low that it's like you're in a freezer. <laughs> Not a freezer, more like a fridge. But, yeah, it's more that you get headaches just from the sudden temperature changes all the time. And I can hear the microphone fizzling out. I hope it hasn't died on me. Amazingly not. This is going splendidly. Okay, but now Negus Silver 63's real question. You do realize that if you use the magnet power, that would have made everything easier, right? Yeah, that's him referring to that uh, Mega Man Blind episode 8, I believe. Well, uh, first part of Wily's cast up on me, but 
anyway, so like I was saying, yeah, Mega Man Episode 8. That's the part where I introduced Captain Forest Falcon's mortal enemy. That flipping green platform bastard who should die in all fire. And I will do it to myself one day. But anyway, yes, it is possible that if you use magnet power that you can pretty much just run across there. Actually, in the start of episode 9, if you watch closely, you can see me trying to do that. It, it does make it easier, but it's still really easy to screw up. So pretty much I ended up just using the platforms, which for some reason seemed to be working much better with me than they had any other time, so... But yes, thank you for the help now that I am not doing it again, nigga. Okay, so... Now, next question is from the Chosen Shy Guy 89. I believe he was formerly the Chosen Penguin 89 or something. Anyway... My question is, what is your favorite video game series? That is a very easy question for me to answer. It is the Legend of Zelda series. Yeah, that's pretty much my childhood right there. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. First large world expansive area that I ever explored as a kid. Oh, all the times. Pretty much it would be as a kid, I would have, there would be outside... There would be books, and then there would be Hyrule Field. Those are my three playgrounds. Besides the playing with toys inside or something. But yes, I spent a lot, a lot of time playing Ocarina of Time. And then when Majora's Mask came out, I spent a lot of time playing that too. So those two are two of my favorite Zelda games for sure. And then I just fell in love with the series after that and have played all 3D titles. Except, yeah, all 3D, all 3D titles. I've played all the DS ones. I've played Wind Waker. i played Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword. And by, oh yeah, and Spirit Tracks, I love that game. I love the music in that game. Like, I know the DS titles, they don't get as much credit as a lot of people give them, but I actually enjoy them quite a lot. Like, honestly, they actually introduced one of my favorite Zelda characters in that. I love Lineback. He is such an awesome character, and he has such an awesome theme. Hooray for Lineback and his selfish bastardess. He is such a great character, and if he wasn't in Phantom Hourglass, I probably wouldn't have liked that one too much, because I do admit the Ocean Temple is rather long and drags out way too far in that. Spirit Tracks, on the other hand, the Spirit Tower is actually a heck of a lot of fun. Because it's like every time that you go back there, it's like a new temple for you to explore. Okay, this microphone is still working, right? Anyway, and then also, more recently, I actually started venturing. I'd say a couple of years back, I started venturing into the 2D titles. So I played Link's Awakening, A Link to the Past, and I've done the original Legend of Zelda, but... Let's just face it, you have to have grown up with that game or played it a heck of a lot to get good at it. Uh, I have trouble getting past the first dungeon without dying every time I start a new file on that game. And then I usually die after the first dungeon before even finding another temple. That game is just brutal if you don't know where to go, what to do, where all the secrets are. Uh, but I love Zelda. I love the characters in it. Like Majora's Mask has is one of my is my favorite game just because of the amazing side quests and I love being able to go back in time and just go through everything again. That's that was one of the, my favorite things because a lot of times I would play Ocarina of Time over and over again so I could do the bosses again, but I didn't have to do that with Majora's Mask because you can just fight them immediately again, which was an aspect of the game that I thought was absolutely amazing when I was a kid. And I'm just sort of going on and on about Zelda games. Oh, boy. Well, I think that I've kind of made it clear that, yes, The Legend of Zelda franchise, one of my favorite series for sure. And, yep, I don't think anything's ever going to beat that. Okay, is it working again? Good. Sorry about that. Microphone cut out for a second again. 
Okay, anyway, I better hurry up and answer the final questions here before I just stop thinking altogether. Okay, so the final three questions come from Alakazam1313. Question one. Can you give me a shout-out, lol? Yes, you can have a shout-out, Alakazam1313. In fact, everyone can have a shout-out. You can have a shout-out. You can have a shout-out. In fact, let's just scroll down a whole list of names, and all those people get their own shout-out. Hooray! You guys are all awesome. Every single one of you that I listed there. Anyway, now that I've answered your first question, what's your second one? Oh, why am I asking like you're there? You're not really there. You're like watching this video that I'll make sometime in the future. Okay, question two. What are your future Let's Plays? A very, very good question. One of which ties into what I was saying about my favorite video game franchise being The Legend of Zelda. You may have noticed in the time that I've been Let's Playing that I have yet to actually do a Zelda game so far. So, you can guarantee that one of the next games that I'm going to Let's Play is going to indeed be a Zelda game. I won't tell you which one, but I can promise you, one of my future Let's Plays is a Zelda game. Alright, and as for other projects, well, let's see. I know that a lot of you guys enjoyed Mario Kart 64 Quest for 8th Place, and I had a lot of fun doing that one, and I... I kind of feel a bit bad that I did that at such an early time in my Let's Play career, say, well, it's not really career. <laughs> yeah, like I'm going to make my life off of doing Let's Play forever. No, if you try doing Let's Play for money, you aren't going to be making any money whatsoever unless you sell out in absolutely every way and pretty much leech off of others to gain your way to fame. And, but the fact is, is that you actually have to be somewhat decent at commentary and everything. And I'm kind of going off track here, but I'm just saying, if you're going to Let's Play, don't do it for the money. Do it for the awesome people you have you meet. Because I've met some really cool people for, through doing Let's Play. And I've done some other things, too. Like, I've done a bit of voice acting and a bit of, oh, I don't know, some other stuff that you might see in the future. But, yeah... I've met some really awesome people this past year through doing Let's Playing and helping out in other projects, and I just want all of you to know that you guys and girls are all awesome and amazing people, and I'm so glad to have gotten to know you. But anyway, like I was saying with future Let's Plays, so, yeah, Mario Kart 64 Quest for 8th Place, I was had a lot of fun when I did that at the time, I thought it was a really good idea, and you know what? I am going to be doing something that is somewhat of a sequel to that. By that, I mean it's another Mario Kart 64 Let's Play, but it's playing the game again in a fashion that you would not think to play as normally. Oh, I had that idea just a little bit ago, and now I think that pretty soon I am going to do that. It will be one of my future Let's Plays, and you will be surprised. As for any other Let's Play ideas that I have in mind, well, there may be some more co-op type projects in the future as well. Because, let's see, one thing that I'm doing right now is Amnesia. I have no idea how the heck I'm going to get much further in that game, considering how freaking scared I've been and I haven't even run into a real enemy yet. I don't know what it is about that game. It just scares me for some reason. And it's like, I try, I've try tried psyching myself up beforehand, and then going in and just running around in that. And I'm like, playing it like, oh god, I'm gonna die any second now. But that's the thing about the game, is that you feel like you're gonna die, or something horrible's gonna happen to you all this time. And then it doesn't, and then the darkness keeps on going, and the feeling is just prolonged, and you feel awful. Ah. <sighs> But I gotta give, guess that for that sort of atmosphere, you have to give credits to the game designers for that. Anyway, what other projects were I doing? Ah, uh, yes, Kirby Superstar Ultra. Well, as for news on that, let's just say that Negasilver63, he's going to be gone for a bit. I know that the first episode of that was released, like, oh, what is it, months ago at this point? Like, two months or something? Yeah, I'm just going to say that that's going to be on hiatus. 
I do have to say that I liked doing episode one. I thought it was a good bit of practice for me in the works of editing. But in all honesty, that took me a long time. That took me a lot longer than some of the things that I've edited. And as for other current projects that are going on, uh, Mega Man Blind. The end of that is probably going to be coming up soon. As soon as I can get Morkas together again to finish recording that. And as for other projects, such as Earthbound. Earthbound, I plan on just one of these days just going and just doing a Blitz recording and just getting as far as I can and getting as many episodes up. Because I want to try and get this done roughly about the same time that I started it last year. Because I don't want Earthbound to be going on for more than a year. It's been a... It's been a really great Let's Play. It's been freaking amazing in my mind. It's one of the one of my favorite ones to do because it's just show, it's show casual and show very appealing for me. Yeah, it's just like one that I go and do and have fun at. It's not like um, it's not like I want to be the guy. That one it takes a bit more planning. Like episode three of that, that one was. Let's just say that the third segment of that, I promise you guys that I, I've i practiced that and I've found a new technique that just made that one jump that was killing me all those times. It's made it infinitely easier. I think that I could, at this point, I could almost guarantee like 60% chance of me succeeding with every attempt at the whole thing. Because it's like, I guess, but of course... That's a bit pushing it. I mean, the meat grinder is pretty impossible in that thing. But yes, and I have recorded another episode of that already, and I am going to be editing that and uploading it. As for any other projects, what else? Is there anything else that I haven't mentioned? No, I don't think I, there's anything else I haven't mentioned. As for other future projects, I haven't exactly decided on them yet. But you will get to hear about them sometime soon in the future, so look out for them. And also, on an off-topic from Let's Play, uh, if you guys want to know, uh, Nega Silver 63 and Morquez, uh, they've recently uploaded the first part of their machinima, of their brawl machinima called the Duel, um, Duel League. Yeah, and I actually play a couple roles in that in episode one, one of which is Mario, which you can see in the first part. But yeah, after episode one, I won't be doing Mario anymore. I've been replaced. Eh, I didn't really. Mario was probably my hardest role in that to do, honestly. But in part two, which I'll look forward to, is the first case where I will be showcasing as Bowser. And that was definitely not a good Bowser voice, but I'm too tired to bring Bowser out fully. Besides, this is Let's Play, this is not voice acting whatever. So anyway, thank you Alakazam1313 for that second question. And now the final question, how long do you plan to do Let's Plays? I hope to do Let's Play long enough that I can do quite a number of more projects. I don't want to, I want to be able to just do a few more of the games that I really do love to play and hopefully upload them and finish them. I don't really like the idea of ever leaving any project unfinished. Like, it kind of bothers me a little bit. Kirby Superstar Ultra, we just started that, but then we never really have continued it much. But I think that maybe we may restart it. Either that or when Nega comes back, we'll just continue it like, Oh, nothing happened in this versus. We totally didn't just go on a five-month hiatus or anything. But yes, I hope to be Let's Playing for quite a while yet, Alakazam. In other words, I don't see the end in Let's Playing for me in the future yet. So anyway, thank you guys for your questions. They're much appreciated, and I'm pretty sure that I've just been rattling off random thoughts that process through my mind. Yes, because that's what I tend to do with commentary for you guys, is I tend to just sort of go off in my own little world and just say, oh, look at that, oh, and you know there's that and that and that thing that's up there that doesn't make any sense, and what is that? Oh my gosh, it's a giant ball. Yeah, completely random nonsense. That is me to a T. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for your questions, and I will be back with some of your favorite moments in Let's Playing. And I think that I may throw in a few of mine that may not have been mentioned. So, thank you guys, and may you soar like a falcon, and have an amazing day. Thank you all so much for just the amazing experience.